a corpse. And uh, I am absolutely going to be a corpse. I just wanted to also go live on the Joe Cronin Show main channel so that forever, you know, we would have the WrestleMania uh, review uh, link here um, to let everybody know that if you want to see my WrestleMania review, you got to go watch it on the Corrupted Nation channel, which I'm putting in the chat right now. So there, if you want to li relive it in the archives, there it is. We are back on JCS. It's good to be back. And uh, WrestleMania Night 1 clearly uh, won the day, won the weekend. It was phenomenal. Night 1. Absolutely loved Night 1. I, I, I am shocked at how well Night 1 went and how smooth it went and how it built on itself. As much as Night 2 was kind of a just butt fuck, like Night 2 was kind of a butt fuck. But as much as it was, it's amazing that night two, night one was that good. Like, seriously. At the very least, night two was all right, I guess. Night two was like, all right. But night one was, honestly, dude, night one was a masterpiece of momentum. For WWE, like, you don't usually see that out of a WrestleMania. Normally at WrestleMania, you see one match or two matches that are good a night. Right? Or maybe three. Sometimes you get three. And then maybe there was like a fourth that was all right. And while that is kind of what happened on night one, you know, there was like three really good matches. But then all the other matches were really good too. And it just, it just kept building on itself. And that's the thing that impresses me about night one. It just kept building. And to have that momentum. And the execution was done well too. Welcome back, man. What up? We've been live all night on my other channel, Corrupted Nation, so I hope you guys have been over there watching. But I uh, just wanted to come live quickly, not for long, here on JCS, just to say good night and hello and whatever and party and get wet. I don't know. Just to quickly say that we've been streaming all night on Corrupted Nation. We got, I, I, and I'm surprised, man, on the backup channel, 10,000 views on the backup channel. That's fucking crazy. That's I'm impressed, to be honest. I hope uh, I hope everybody was able to watch me on my backup channel tonight. I hope there. Are, I'm sure there are some people out there that are like, "Where have you been? I didn't even know." And if that's the case, that sucks. But you got to always look for me. You know, what I mean, if I'm supposed to be live, it's a WrestleMania. You know, I was live. I was live on my backup channel. Poor Shane McMahon fucking, like, broke his fucking goddamn life in half. I mean, fucking Shane, bro. That looked bad from the beat right when you saw it. So, poor Shane. Anyway, thanks uh, to everybody who joined us all night long on Corrupted Nation. Joe Bishop, Ed's View, everybody else. Um... Thanks to uh, Soundwave92 who dropped the uh, $100 bomb. But we didn't quite hit the goal tonight. Uh, but that's okay because we blew the goal away the other night, courtesy of Sith Negan and so many other people that we really blew the goal away when you really think about it for the whole week. So it really was fucking unbelievable. Finish the story. Finish it. That's right. Triple H said they're going to finish the fucking story. We'll see, Triple H. We'll see. Triple H did say they'd finish the story. Um, Lewis Money Man, what up? How you doing, bro? Leave this briefcase oh shit! Right here. I'm gonna leave this briefcase. Oh, what right the hell? Al oh my God! I'm it's the end of the night. Allison Tuckwab right is here. dropping donations. I'm gonna leave this briefcase right here. Uh, 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 what the this hell? Briefcase right here. Son, run, run, you fat bitch. Run, 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 you fat bitch. Run, 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 you fat bitch. What the hell? It's run, run, two thirty in the morning. You fat bitch. 
you fucking fat bitch. Allison gets her WrestleMania donation in there. On JCS. Armando, they blew it tonight. Wow. Gotta run, you gotta run, you gotta run, you gotta run, go ahead run, and run, you fat bitch. run. Sounds like WWE is closing at the doors that I seen on Google that packing it together UFC so I can't wait come Monday Night Raw tomorrow to see what they got to say. Well, Allison, one thing that we gotta remember is although UFC could be possibly buying the WWE, which it looks like it might, Allison, and thank you Allison for the donation, they are physically packing boxes right now because they're moving to the new, uh, the new building. WWE corporate is moving to the new office as we speak right now. The move is underway because they bought a new corporate office and WWE headquarters is changing. So while they're actually in the midst potentially of selling the company for real, they are literally moving. <laughs> like So... Those packing the box, pack, packing the boxes up and moving and stuff, uh, those that is happening. But you, you know, you could jump to conclusions on why. You know, oh, someone bought them; they're all packing up. No, they're packing up because they're moving buildings, no matter what. So just if you see that, that's what you're probably seeing because they literally are moving the building right now. Joe, just call off and hang with us. I know I, I kind of do want to do that in many ways. I want to do that, but um. There's actually a sh there's actually someone on vacation at my work, and um, I was kind of put in charge of some stuff, you know, <laughs> like so I actually, and I was like, oh no, like it's not really like what I just said, but it's whatever. The bottom line is that we're shorthanded, and if I wasn't there, it would be, it would really suck, you know. And also, I've got a, I've got I've got three attempts to make a, a a siding or roof sale tomorrow. And I've got to sell one at least because I've got to hit numbers this month to get bonus. If I don't get bonuses this month, I'm fucked. You know what I mean? Like, so I've got to be there. I've got to be there. In fact, I'm going to have trouble getting up now. It's already too late. It's already late to the point where I'm going to be real fucked up, you know? Quite honestly. <clears throat> but that being said, uh, trying to fix something on my goddamn TV screen here so it lights up. But uh Joe, what do you do, man? It sounds interesting. Um well, I've always been in sales. Customer service and sales is what I've always been in, but right now I'm doing sales. I'm doing um vinyl siding, roofing and uh and like windows all in one. So siding, windows, and roofing all in one. Um, but usually it's roofing and siding. Actually, it's my my thing. So I'll go to uh, you know I'll go to you know go to homes, go to leads. Omar Fakarani. Omar, were you the Omar in the fucking Discord, or was that a different Omar? I miss the days you worked on YouTube full time. Yeah, me too. If anybody's got twenty thousand uh, dollars, I'll quit my job right now. No, I'm just <laughs> yeah, back in the day. But I remember, you know, when I started on YouTube, I was uh, I was just doing it for fun. I started doing this for fun, and then it became a part time job, and then it became a full time job, and now it's a part time job again. You know. DSN says, I heard Joe say uh, people tire of Cody after a while. I think they missed the opportunity to put the belt on him tonight. Yeah, I mean, that's one thing I'd be worried about is that the guy seemingly doesn't have a shelf life all the time places. You know, the people start to lose faith in him at some point for whatever reason. They get annoyed with him. And so that, you know, him not, you know, winning after a year and you know getting injured and all these other things it's like this is uh, yeah you if this if you think at some point that he could be the guy you are playing with fire t by him not winning tonight so this is a gamble in my opinion I'm not saying i don't agree with it and whatever else the case is whatever but this, to some extent you know to some extent 
This is a bit of a gamble tonight. And we'll see if it pays off. I trust that, you know, Triple H understands what he's doing. And sometimes these things really do pay off big. They do. But this is... It's going to be interesting to see if this pays off the way that they're hoping or apparently hope they're hoping. They seemingly hope to hope to hoping. Um, but I also like the Roman story and I also like, I just don't like that he keeps winning by cheating in the same way every time. But it reminds me of Ryan Waters' run when he was the top rope promotions heavyweight champion for two and a half years. And uh, what happened is, for those who don't know, uh, the local in there's a local indie promotion here. And, dude, I'm telling you, for two years, this guy cheating to win and retain the top rope promotions heavyweight title. And the first time that Teddy Goods faced him for it, he cheated and beat Teddy Goods. And it wasn't until like a year or eight months later when Teddy Goods faced him again or whatever that Teddy straight up ended up beating him. You know what I mean? And he didn't get to try to cheat and it didn't work that time. And it was an unbelievable thing. Like it was one of the best stories I've ever seen or I've ever been a part of to feel it was really good. And probably only 130 people know about it. You know what I mean? Or maybe 200 people know about it. That's about it. And yet it's one of the best things I've ever seen in wrestling of the last maybe 15 years. And it happened on an independent show, you know, the, over the course of two and a half years. And it's very similar to the Roman situation. And it's so fun when you're involved in that. And then you see the, the face finally beat the guy. Like it's, it's re rewarding. And Roman is... Guess they're going to get more mileage out of it, you know? Which, I get it. I get it. Um, I don't know. But I, 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 um, I'm not angry about it or happy either way. I'm kind of like, okay. I know that some people were angry. I'm just not getting up in arms about it. I'm kind of like, Arr. wow. I mean, I'm, I was a little surprised when Cody didn't win and when he when Roman won. I was like, whoa, okay, holy shit. But uh, we anyway, we've been talking about this for hours and hours and hours and hours tonight, and um, I've had a great time. But I'm gonna be fucked for work tomorrow. I'll tell you that. Soul brother number five. If Cody wins, I can see Orton coming back and RKOing him. Yeah, see, that's kind of what people thought tonight, right? But maybe Randy Orton is going to come back now and distract, and now he'll be involved with Cody instead of Roman, and they'll move on to something else. I don't know. But, I, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. None of us really know, really, huh? All right. I am going to go, though, man. We've been live. We're still 300 people watching on Corrupted Nation on the YouTube channel. And there's even 50 watching on JCS now at 2.50 in the morning. So you guys deserve a round of applause for being badass. Triple A. Poor fucking Shane McMahon tore his goddamn quad at WrestleMania. That's crazy. Um, Wild situation. Oh, I drink coffee every morning. I Trust me. I'm drinking fucking coffee every morning. You know, that's that's got to happen for me. All right. I will catch you guys later. Thank you for 10 years. 10 years straight of covering WrestleMania. Can you guys... I can't even believe that. 10 years straight of WrestleMania. Um... It, it kind of blows my mind. But, uh, well, I guess it's not 10 years, right? It's 10 WrestleManias. Back when, back when I first started this show, I used to get way more views. Just look at my WrestleMania 10 review. Half a million views. 561,000 views. For you guys, next... 
right here. Let's. Is it really the? Is it really WrestleMania thirty? WrestleMania thirty. Same type of deal with Daniel Bryan today. It felt mm -hmm. like we were watching. Uh, you know, I was watching Star Trek. Uh, Nemesis. Oh no! Don't start talking about Star Trek again, Joe. Oh my God! I do Wrath of Khan again, but uh, it was <laughs> very interesting in that in that matter. Of fact. WWE has a working relationship with Ring of Honor, so that's a small possibility, but small. Right, and I mean it's just not going to happen. Look folks. at the he's equipment. Gonna, if he's going to do anything, he'll be on WWE TV, and that's it. So let's have a beer. Oh, I know why this says eight years ago. It's because is it really? I'm conf why the dates f fuck with me, bro. Because I re I must have no. This is the original. This is the original video. So right now, for all you guys out there who watch the show, I know a lot of you girls, you know, are loving are loving Joe Cronin. No, <laughs> no, they're not. But you know, for, <laughs> I, I know that I know that they are. But a lot of guys feel left out. You know what I mean? I don't. They're like, oh, well, you know, I, you know, Joe, we're, we're into you. And so right now, I got something for you. Oh, what is what's happening here? Oh my God. Get your screen captures ready, guys. Get your screen captures ready on your mobile device. Because here it comes. I'm scared. <laughs> what? Enjoy it. And let me tell you something, Paul Levesque. Let me tell you something, Triple H. If you think that I forgot about WrestleMania 31 with me and you... You got another goddamn thing coming, Paul Levesque. If you want to step into the ring. Ended there, or that could have been Taker's last match. Half a million people watch me. Half a million people watch me suck off a banana. That's great. One of them is, is awesome. I want to know when takes and, me serious. But serious. the thing is, we already played that game. We already did the emotional. I've redone that gimmick like five times now. Off for the Undertaker. Jarvis on the uh, YouTube, not on UStream, but on the U on the YouTube feed. Zach Jarvis goes. <laughs> I can't believe Fuck this is that tomorrow. long ago. That's all he said. Fuck school tomorrow. <laughs> hey, buddy. I already called out of work, so I already uh, took my time off of work. I knew that. See, look at that. Ten years ago, I was calling out of work. Little did I know, in three years from this, I wouldn't have work again for five years. If I could go back in time and tell myself that you're going to be able to work full-time on YouTube for five years, my old self would have been like, like, what? And then I would have been angry. I would have been like, why only five years? <laughs> I, I'm like a show. Dude, it's like TV. You know, I'm I'm old now at this point. You know, I've been kind of canceled a little bit. You know, like people got sick. I had a good seven-year run. I had seven seasons, you know, of Joe Cronin show. You know, the, the probably the years 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 20, maybe 20. So I had five years. I had five really solid years. On YouTube, I mean, really solid, to where I didn't, I quit, I didn't. When I got laid off of my job, I didn't need to go back. I should have gone back because if I went back, well, but if I went back, I wouldn't have made as much on YouTube. So, but it kind of sucks. I, I'm like a good, you know what? I'm a good story. I'm like a guy who succeeded for five years, like amazingly, and then I, but but I started as a failure. And then I succeeded amazingly, and then I failed again, and then I kind of fell into failure. So I went right back to failure. So I'm kind of, a, I, I think I'm a fun story, you know, but if I had a, if I had a brain, I would have continued to work at the same time and doubled up on my money. That way I would have been able to pay the IRS off and I would have been able to fucking do whatever. So let that be a lesson. Never take your, I said this before on a rant one night, I said, never take your foot off the pedal. Never take your your fucking foot off the pedal, man. Keep grinding as much as you can. If you can get, if you can reach, if you still have two hands to grab more, grab more. Just keep grabbing shit. Rate the night. Well, I did rate the night over on Joe on uh, Corrupted Nation. So we've been on my backup channel all night. We got ten thousand viewers at one point total. It's crazy. It was great. But uh, here we are back on the main channel again, Joe Cronin Show, and you guys want the rating because you didn't see my review all night. God damn you! I will give you my rating. I rate night one an 8.5 out of 10. I said that last night on my stream. And I would rate tonight, uh, I'll give tonight a, a six. I think tonight deserves a lower grade, probably a five. But I'm going to give it a six because of that triple threat match, 
the main event execution for the most part, and the fans. The fans were really good, man. They were really going. I don't know if they really deserve a six, but they might deserve less, but I'll give them a six because the fans were doing their best to carry it. You know? Um, no, I'm not. Uh, yeah, Armando, I'm definitely, I definitely lost a lot of those things. Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. I, I haven't really lost. I mean, subs are okay, but I mean, I used to get a million views a month. Now I get 70,000 views a month, you know, but that's okay. Remember WrestleMania 31? Hard to believe this was, uh, what, eight years ago? Can you believe what just happened? A lot of a lot of people called that in a way. Look at my old setup. Am, you know, remember when people used to make me graphics all the time? Look at these graphics. I will tell you. Listen, I would. I don't know who made this graphic, but they were awesome. I think they did. They they kept it to the right time frame. You know, they didn't go too too long. I, I felt like he seemed uh, 10 tons better this year than he was last year. He That was definitely better, yes. It, it definitely was better. And it helped how White threw himself around, too. Um, they played off each other well. It got better and better. And uh, the moment where the, the crab... This got 380,000 views. That's good. Hey, I got your notes for you tonight, so... Oh, you got the... Uh, you, have, you have copious amounts of notes tonight? I think that's old school Matt that was on the call. I'm pretty sure that's who was on the call. God, you gotta you gotta miss old school Matt. At least I th I think that's old school Matt on the call. Man, look at all the old names in the comment section. These are people I don't see anymore at all. I really miss everybody. Like over the years, that wherever they went, disappeared to, whatever happened. Um, I miss everybody. I think about people's names all the time, from back in the day, and names I don't see anymore, and wonder what happened to a lot of people. So. Yeah, it's crazy. I guess so, yep. I was Talvish, what's going up, bro? What's going on? I uh how's it going, man? Hey, what's up, fake person? That's Joe Cronin Show. Make sure you go over to uh JoeCronenshow dot com and check out the uh the bonus features on the website. Wow, look at how old this insane. is, bro. What is I'm this? Never gonna play that again. It was way too freaking long. It was like, oh, but now go get him. Wow, look at all the and, old uh, ads listen, and shit. You remember the epic promo that I... Look at all the old shit. Yeah. I like it. You know, I don't mind seeing him around as long as he's not the world heavyweight champion. And, um... Who is this on the phone? But, uh... But that, he, that he has, you know. Is that... With, see, Sounds like Pico. You know, and... I'm on some kind of... He's really good. Ad for... for Versus Brock, I wanted a couple yeah. times, man. It was uh, threw his arms down. There's, there was never a time when you were like, I can't wait. I think I was just taking random calls here. This is going to be, you know, if anything, the biggest storyline was that we're all complaining about Reigns. I mean, that's... You raised a piece of shit. And Mr. Pico Boulevard, speaking of the devil, he just became a member. Mr. Pico, thanks for remembering, man. Is this you on the phone here? Eight years ago at WrestleMania 31 review, is this you? It sounds like you. And uh, the rest of the stuff was just on paper. Looked a good. little bit, well, right. a little bit weirder, but there was no epic investment. It was just a solid sort of. It was set up to be kind of a just a solid show. It you was. Know, wasn't unbelievable. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Yeah. You yeah. really have to wonder with. He's another WCW guy. I mean, you know, like I don't think they. Waste. I don't, I don't know. know I don't know if that it's was because him. it was a way of getting out. I think it, they they got panicked because they they realized they didn't. Want, uh, I guess I'd be a little bit sad. I'm not that really sure what what that, Jesse what that was. Of all, wasn't here tonight. That was a little bit, you know, depressing that I didn't hear from Jesse. Uh, who, you know, I didn't hear from Jesse tonight either. Been watching the show since the start, really pushing the show to to be more and whatever else. But I just like Jesse's personality on the show. Jesse sometimes can't like show up to things though. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. But that's not like his own fault. Oh so. my god, it was Leah Mania. My wife showed up to WrestleMania review back in 2015. He Is to... Dave not here tonight by choice? Or well, I was kind that of a you thing. I kind of said goodbye to everyone. 
So you did say something to him. Yes. Okay. He, but I um. I was gonna say it's not really like screw job, but I, I didn't know that you did that. In that case, I guess it kind of is. Well, I kind of just said. Because yeah. I mean, if it would be screw job, if like, because like Brett didn't want to give up the title, it'd be like if Dave didn't want to give up the show, and you said no, and you took it from him. I guess. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, that's kind of what happened. He was confused probably by it. Um, I don't think we ever had a fight. <laughs> I remember not. that. I remember that we all had a big falling out. This that was the um, that was the last time we all did a show together actually. And then Jesse came back, and then um, uh, then JB came on right after this. Yeah, it was JB came on right after this, and then uh. Who else? And the, so Rose came back, and then Je and then Jesse came back. I think, yeah. And then it was me. It was a lot of me and JB and Leah at that point. And then Jesse came back. I think. I, it's hard to remember, but I'm pretty sure. But yeah, that was a crazy fucking time. All right, I better get to bed, man, or I'm gonna be in trouble. Leave this brief case oh shit! Right Another. Oh my God! It, right it never here. ends. I'm gonna leave this briefcase right here. It's Allison Takwa! I'm gonna leave this briefcase right here. Uh, 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 I'm gonna leave this briefcase right here. Son, run, run, you fat bitch. Run, 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 you fat Shout bitch. Shout out to Allison. Run, run, run. You Allison Takwa going to the well, baby. And yes, WWE is moving their offices. Let's see what she says. Allison, thank you so much for the super chats. And everybody for everything all night. You guys have been beasts tonight. Thank you. And shout out to Seth Negan. I'm ending the show in a minute, I guess. So everybody hit that like button if you can on your way out. I can't believe I've been on this long. This is f I'm fucked tomorrow. This is crazy. Run, you fat bitch. Well, they turn out normal business once they settle in. No wrestlers will go to the Muslim business when they settle in. <laughs> I don't think they're going to Saudi, uh, Allison. It's now, now it's looking like UFC, but I'm not going to go with anything. You know what I mean? I'm not believing shit at this point, you know? Allison, thank you so much. You got a good point. Allison Tuckwab dropping another big one. And you guys have been awesome. Cody Rhodes loses. Shane tears his quad. Snoop Dogg uh, does what he has to do. And here's all the $25 producers that fucking kick ass. And now, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the Monday Night Raw. Wrestling has the Monday Night Raw review. Do you believe that? Tomorrow night. Are we going to be you know, live for it? I don't know. Hit that like button. I'll see you. Happy WrestleMania. Uh, Joe, if you're listening, you stupid fuck. He looks like a one of those guys that from Long Island that wants to be a white rapper, but he's 30-something years old, lives in his parents' basement with the droopy cap and the whatever, but he thinks he's Howard Stern, and he's got a cool way of talking in the microphone, uh, and he's a shock jock or whatever, and somehow or another he accumulates followers on the on Twitter's fucking pathetic so please nobody listen to anything involving a guy named Joe Cronin because it's just so fucking sad 